<sighs> Hello, my YouTubians. How are you? Uh, my first day of treatment was rough, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I got done. And I also managed to get out and uh, go to the bush and find some willow uh, for um, making the spirit ring. Now, I'll just go grab it for you. I didn't take cinema while I was there because it was really hard to, uh, you know, find the one and, and be able to cut the branch and do all that and hold the camera. I couldn't do it. So uh, I didn't get none of that footage. But I do have it right here. One second. So here's that little, little bit of willow tree I got. Um, and I'm thinking Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to use this uh, piece here. This one right here. Okay. This one is going to be short price. So this is your strip right here. So we'll work on that for a second. So we have to take it and we're going to just cut off any of the extra little branches here. Just like that. See? And then we slowly we're going to turn it into a circle. Okay. But before we can do all that, we have to soak it. So it's going to have to soak for a little while. So I'm going to turn this like this. Work this out a little bit like this. And then I'm going to put it into a pot. All right. So I'll bring it back. Okay, so what you got to do is get a boiling water like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to work this around into a circle and let it soak. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to have to put you over here for a second. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. All right. So, this is really, really hot, so uh, be careful if you're trying this, because it will burn a tad. <laughs> when you just hold it and you turn, you don't bend the wood, turn the bowl. And when you get so far, you got to hold it, and then you got to turn the bowl some more. You're not trying to actually bend the wood so much as to turn the bowl around and around. Push it back in because it will spring out. Ouch, it's hot. So remember that. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's in there. And now we just let it sit and we wait. Probably take a couple of hours for it to get nice and and stay that shape right so you don't want to do that however at this time I like to start by uh, doing a little prayer so this is this is of course uh, short fries so I asked the four directions and the four colors I asked the animal spirits and the grandfathers and the Lord in his son to bless this and to help it keep and ward off darkness and dark spirits to keep the room and to help with energy for the person it's made for there you go and now I just let it sit let the salt do its work um, once the salt gets into it it helps to repel spirits so that's why you put putting salt in there okay and we'll talk to you soon uh, it's been about 
an hour or so. It's still warm. It's not uh, hot anymore. Um, so it should should be able to keep its shape easy enough. Uh, so we're going to do the tying part on it next. Uh, tie it up and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Next part is to take the turquoise silk twine. And as you can see, if you do like this, right, you can make it, where am I, there, see these strings? So, I want to make it, so I got three separate strings, so there's one there, see? And you just separate the twine, and pull it apart, and you'll get, See? See how I did that? Just separates like that. And then you pull your twine. There's two strings. And then I gotta do it one more time with this one. And there we go. I could probably make one more. So if I take this one. This one is rather thick, so. See if I can't make two out of it. Well, this one's going to be stubborn, so. This one's going to be a thicker one. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around and I'll tie it. But I can't do that and tape, so I'm going to shut this off and I'll show you once I tie it. A little bit of time shaving this end down um, to make it so it fits better so I just want to show you that I uh, had a little, little more sh little more shaving work on there <laughs> so far you see we've got these three tassels here for a reason that you'll see later this one here is shaved to look like a bone it's pointing upward uh, so that the prayers and everything go into the heavens and are cleared uh, the willow itself, the reason that uh, I chose the willow was because uh, there's, there's a strong belief that willow will help uh, ward off evil spirits that wander. Uh, because the ruler of the underworld allows the spirits of the dead to return to earth once in a while. Uh, since their presence may not always be welcome, the willow branches keep them away. Um, uh, willow is also used for healing, uh, for peace, um, mercy. So anyway, that's what willow uh, represents here in this case, in this particular case. Um, willow is also used for communications, things like that, but that's not my field. <laughs> anyway, so that's what this is for. It's to allow the prayers to be lifted. That's what this is here. Uh, and it uh, ward off any evil spirits that may be wandering about. And uh, these tassels, they're for something else, as we will, as I'll show you as we move along. But anyway, for today, that's all I'm doing. And uh, I'll show you some more tomorrow. Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch your six, and have a great day. Bye.